Hi everybody, well, um, it is now Thursday, December 2nd, the 2nd of December. <clears throat> As you know, I decided not to film yesterday because, um, I had my appointment with my therapist. And then she advised me to, uh, go back to urgent care, <laughs> which I did. Um thing that was the doctor there was a little bit rude she said you should have contacted your doctor urgent care is for short needs only your needs are more chronic okay I was taking the advice from my therapist to go to urgent care. But this was, was like the fourth going to urgent care. So, <clears throat> it's still early. It's like um, 7.15 in the morning. So, um, and my caregiver can't come today. <clears throat> Here's why. They ran a COVID test on me, another COVID test. Um, a Q-tip got stuck in my nostril. <laughs> he pulled it out. He's like, whoop, went up there too fast. And I'm like, yank. <laughs> oh, man, that kind of hurt. I was like, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Um, I will know probably by tomorrow because I went to the urgent care pretty late they said so <clears throat> that's why um my caregiver's boss doesn't allow um her to visit her um people she's caregiving for if they had a covid test done they need to wait for the results and they need to have the results to be negative for her to um go to her person she's helping so that's why i don't know why this is loose on here okay there <coughs> it is a little bright but it's dark in here and um so <sighs> i've been in and out of sleep again my sleep is somewhat getting better but you know yeah um I am gonna empty out my Tuesday video <clears throat> off my phone because I only have like 11 minutes remaining otherwise. And then I'm gonna go back to sleep with a little time lapse. But another thing too, they are gonna have me wait for another phone call from an allergist because this has been going on for almost a month okay and so i told him about the certain thing that has been happening and that's why i am cleaning and my therapist gave me um, tips on what to get from Amazon. So after I've been cleaning, I will order those, um, items. Well, I'll only order one item because, you know, it's just one item anyway. <coughs> and I'll place those items around the house. Um, around my apartment, excuse me. But, um, it's like only three to a pack. And it's like $5. That's what all I can afford. Because I don't want to get like a $50 one or a $30 one. And have my balance on Amazon, Amazon go whoop. If you get what I mean. So, okay. I am going to get out of bed. Get my glasses on. 
so I can see the computer and uh, transfer Tuesday off my phone <clears throat> and go back to sleep. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm still going to go back to sleep, but I just wanted to let you know. Um, I was thinking at first it wouldn't pick up my phone calls when I was doing this window thing and hyperlapse, but it did. Um... I could hear the ringing, but it wasn't the doctor. It was a telemarketer, so <clears throat> I didn't hear back from the doctor yet about my COVID results, but I am going to go back to sleep for a little more time because I'm still a little tired, okie dokie, and I will get cleaning done, but I don't know how much I will get done. Because I have to run to um, another doctor appointment, a cancer specialist. My mom died from cancer, so I'm at high risk. So, I'll be going there. Yeah. And when I wake up again for the second time, I am going to uh, have something to eat. Okay, so that's the plan for the day. Sorry if I bore you today, too. Alright. <clears throat> Bye for a while. Looks like, um, I got an ear message on my time-lapse video, so... <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> I must have grabbed my phone too fast. Um, no, that wasn't the COVID people. So, still no word about that yet. But the allergist called. They said not to take Claritin. 10 days to have it all out of my system. So... I am going to be seeing them Friday, December 10th at 12.50 p.m. And it's on the second floor. So, okay. I told you stuff like that would happen with my videos sometimes, so. Oh, I'm so tired. <sighs> oh. Yeah, she said to have, um out of my system for a full 10 days so let me hide this on myself too over here where it says uh, Claritin on these bags um, so I'm going to be doing that I'm going to hide these okay so I'm going to be something to take it so alrighty 
watch on the video. She's just kidding. She's not just kidding, Bridget. <clears throat> no, she's not. One chance. Okay? One chance to admit the truth, and I'll forgive it, and we won't have to break up, and I won't feel like you're betraying me. One what? chance. When I went up to her room the other night, were you in there with her? No. The day we went to substation, Bridget, were you in her room when I went upstairs? No. So I G41 O61 I28 I21 O75 G-56 <laughs> I-22 <laughs> Round over Like that mom or dad or I was talking about how I'm attached to Sean, right? We return to that attachment figure for comfort and safety when we face a fear or a threat. So if something's happening where I feel threatened, maybe I go into fight flight, right? If As quickly as I can or as quickly as I'm able, I'm going to go towards the person that I'm attached to, like in my case at this age, it's Sean, right? I'm gonna to turn to him for comfort. I'm gonna to turn to him to help soothe my system. And if someone's doing that, that means they have a secure attachment. The third is known as secure base. Now this is when the attachment figure acts as a base of security from which the child can explore. All right, so uh, yes, this building is a yeshiva, but have you ever noticed that there is an inscription over the door that is incredibly highly creepy? Mm. What does it mean? Don't you know? You're Jewishy. Oh, not by choice. Hey, come on, religion is dumb as fuck, all right? It's racist, it's sexist, there's no money in it anymore. Who needs it? Maxine, come on, help me out. What does this say? Um, I can't see what you're showing me because you have a code review at 11.30 and John wants his blanket back. This fucking guy. You know, he put his coat over me while I was sleeping. And I'm like... Alright, hi everybody. So, I'm going to my next appointment. And, um, I'm gonna have to film very discreetly. So, I'm gonna, you know filming off my secret video recorder and video recorder thing so um yeah just letting you know that okay i'm waiting for my dad right now Oh my god, guys, she gave me new ones. <laughs> the nurse. Look at this. She saved me $18. I don't have to get these on Amazon. <gasps> awesome, huh? She's getting the doctor, so okay. Um, yeah, that was me earlier in the waiting room. I just wanted to show you. <sighs> Save me money. I look like a duck in this. Quack. Quack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can go home and take my nap a little bit. I'm a little tired. Yeah. Yeah. I have interrupted sleep with my nasal congestion, so. <laughs>
Imagine interrupted sleep since almost a month, November 6th. That's how bad I am. Well, it looks like we don't have to see you back for a year, so that's yeah. good. Thank um, you again for the Eeyore ears. Yeah, with Christina. Yeah. That worked out. She saved me $18. My other yeah. one, I should show you my other one in here. I want strawberry pop tarts. Oh. I go, oh. I want some. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Oh, yeah, she's gone. I want to see if they're in there. Okay, this is the chicken stir fry teriyaki thing from Quick Trip. After I'm done eating it, I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit with my boy Eeyore. Um, and so, yeah, it feels like 8 p.m. at night. <laughs> it's really 3 p.m. right now, so I'm just tired. And when I wake up, I'll probably clean out my refrigerator or something I keep backing down on. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take care of those burners on my stove, like wash them, okay, and put them back on. All right. Weird that we live in the same neighborhood. You think it means anything? Do you think that we're dead? Do you think that we're the same person? You know, I've got a couple of theories that I'm working on. Us being the same person is my current favorite. How would that even work? We can All right. possibly check be it the out. Same. Check it out. Can you feel this? Does it hurt? Is it hurting you? It's hurting it's me. Okay, stop. Just. Hey, look, pal. I'm not so sweet on you either. Okay, but right now you're the only lead I've got. Lead? Man, you know, uh, clue. To get out of this, whatever this is, this situation. There is no way out of the situation. And personally, I liked it. I had control. I, I knew it was coming, and then you shut up and let me down this. <sighs> okay. Oops, I forgot to remove this. <clears throat> it's the sticker they had to stick me with. <laughs> um, they screen me all the time when, you know, do you have COVID symptoms? <laughs> let me put that on you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I have two things to share with you. Um, one, let me show you by a screenshot. So here we go. This is what my therapist uses. And, um... You pull something out, it says pull tab. So I might need help pulling it in case it's difficult. And you just lay it around in your house. <clears throat> because she said the other thing that I found, the plug-in things and the outlets, she said those didn't work for her. So I need something like this. And it's $5. Otherwise, um, other packs are like $30, 40 50 dollars and i did not want that so um that's what i wanted to show you this one thing right here wait i forgot i want to tell you two more other things so let me share you this <coughs> oops um i wanted to ju just get this so i got this but then, looking at the other ones. <laughs> Sweet tooth. And this I'm excited about. Hot Fudge Sunday. I'll be doing a taste test with the, this one, definitely. And definitely the chocolate chip. I'm excited to taste. And I got eye drops. Because I'm running low. Eye drops. Beep. And a new toothbrush. I couldn't find where it says pulser, but it says it's battery operated. 
So, all right. Now in therapy, um, yesterday, my therapist agreed that um, what my caregiver should have done with her unexpected company that Black Friday was, okay, um, here's the thing. I have to work at this such hour, and so I will meet you um, in town later um, for dinner. Here are some fun places to go to while I'm out. You know, something like that. You know what I mean? And my therapist said, um, or the caregiver should have not promised you that day at all. You know, that's another thing. Okay. And I agreed with that. <clears throat> and while she was like telling me other things, I go, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm multitasking in my head here. Um, and here's another thing with my caregiver too. Um, uh, you know, with uh, Wisconsin weather, we have bad Wisconsin weather, um, slippery roads and stuff like that. And, um, <coughs> yeah, um, <sighs> another home service I had before her, they were like a half an hour late because of the fact of the slippery roads. I understood that. Because why get in a car accident coming here? So that's when I want to, um, you know, give her information about my caregiver. And I already texted her saying 9 a.m. is too early when, since I'm not feeling all that well with my allergies. So um, I'm thinking we should move it later on in the day or something again. Or something because you know it's just not working out it's just too early for me you know what I mean <clears throat> so once I get better with my allergies whatever it is I'm allergic to and they can help me stop this congestion and my sinuses and whatever you know and I can be at peace with my physical body with I'm having a hard time breathing. <laughs> With breathing through my nose, <laughs> peace, and sleeping through the night without no interruptions, peace. <laughs> then we can um, do more things like, you know, do the shopping around and stuff like that and uh you know you know otherwise it's just like uh tuesday that was you know <coughs> damn it can't breathe um i was like so damn tired at 9 a.m oh i came I, I woke up tired and I was eating my sushi roll, the dragon sushi roll. And she was in the parking lot saying, are you coming? Are you coming? I'm like, nope, nope. And I'm like thinking, what? why is she in the car? And she's like, if you're coming, we got to get going. I have to be back for a meeting by 1045. And I'm like, I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> you know? Um... And I'm still eating. And she came up, you know, and I sarcastically told her, you know, my caseworker isn't paying your company just for you to sit in the car. Come on up, you know. I know that must have sounded sassy, but, you know, still. <clears throat> um, so, and I tried to clean, but, you know, like I said, my arms were tired too. I couldn't even lift up my arms or whatever. So, as soon as she left, you know, um, and um, and I went on for like an hour nap, which I just closed my eyes for and rested. I was feeling so much better. I moved around like crazy for almost night. <coughs> almost 90 minutes, you know, cleaning up the kitchen, you know, 
So I think we gotta move the nine o'clock further in the day or something. You know. But still, I'm finding myself I want to nap at noon, though, too. So, I don't know. This is what what's frustrating me. I know I need the help with caregiving. But then, how am I going to get the help that I need when I am physically miserable? See where my frustration lies? All right, I'm going to lay down here. <coughs> and don't worry, this is zero sugar. And I was reading a little bit in the doctor's appointment today. Only child. This is about, like, this first grader, Zach Taylor. And he um, is a survivor of a school shooting. But his older brother died in that school shooting and it's like through his eyes only and you know like how the novel room by emma donahue is written it's like that so this is pretty good i read books like different books i like move on to another book read a chapter move on to another book read a chapter like that i know i'm weird but that's what I do. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I don't know how long I will be down for. Okay. I'm just so tired. It's not a joke. My eyes look like they've been bruised. Look at that. <sighs> I'm not joking. My eyes look like they've been bruised. That's how tired I look and feel. So, I hope the hyperlapse outside works this time. I don't know what happened this morning. So, that's why you saw pinwheels <clears throat> for hours later. If it doesn't work again, you'll see pinwheels again. Pinwheels, not pinwheels. I can't talk. My lord. Sinusers. <sighs> okay. So... You know how I feel now. I'm just frustrated with my physical, you know, allergies and stuff. Very, very frustrated. Oh my god, you guys are still so tired. Um. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna put some of this stuff on my, from on my table onto the couch so that, um, my caregiver can sit down and eat here. So there's hardly any room for her to, you know, No, I'm not going to taste test the <coughs> Pop-Tarts tonight because, you know, I want to have sleep. They have sugar in it, and you know what I mean. And I don't want to be awake all night, you know, with insomnia. Um, I think I'm going to have myself a snack. Oh my god. Please. After my snack, I'll do the best I can with uh, cleaning out the refrigerator and cleaning this. So I can cook something later if I want.
Okay, I'm gonna put on my night clothes. I'm so tired. It's all out. Just now, right here. You okay? I felt something touch me. Something strange. Will this finally be the night where I have a full night's rest? Who knows? I'm going to do the burners in the morning whenever I wake up and finish cleaning out the fridge when I wake up too. I feel shitty like I have to poop a lot. Damn it. So I'm calling it a night right now with the cleaning. So I told you it'd be a little bit. Not that much. <coughs> I'm going to stay up until I'm done pooping here. Um, I don't know what movie I want to watch. <sighs> Probably Final Destination 5, I guess. <sighs> okay, let's get around. And good luck. Gymnasts are worse than baseball players in this kind of fight. Hey Katrina, how you doing? Nah, just this stupid retreat thing with idiots from the office. No, 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 not you, sir. Them. Hold on a second, let me go someplace a little more private. Bald's new black, sir. Bald's new black. Yeah, no, hang on a sec, babe. I'm just gonna head on back to my private office. since your first consultation. What made you decide to take the leave today? Uh, well, uh, a lot is going on in my life. And, uh, I just, I don't want to miss anything. You know, important. Same reason I had it done myself. Come on in back, let's get you started. Okay. Yep, that's the first step. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never need those again.
Alright, um, it's 8.30 right now. I'll be going to bed within the hour because I'm saving my Tuesday video and then I'll upload it. Um, as of Friday the 10th of December, I won't be filming because, yeah, it's because of the allergist. Um, the person who called me said it will take about an hour to two hours for them to poke my skin and see what I'm allergic to and I don't want to, you know, have them wonder why I'm doing what I'm doing, if you get what I mean. So, no filming that day, I will just uh, tell you the day after, okay? <sighs> Alright, um, as of tomorrow, I do plan on filming. I'm just going to play it by ear, you know, because like I said, who knows what tomorrow is going to be like. Um, I woke up feeling tired and miserable, but um, I do plan to go to campus. I have that chicken stir fry, but I want to come home and eat it, and I want to say hi to somebody who works there. That's the number one plan so far. I can't plan anything else in the moment because I really don't know what I will feel like because right now I feel like total shit, like so, so tired. So maybe I will sleep the night perfectly for once. I don't know. I'm not saying again <laughs> and I'm not wishing it because if I wish it, I'll jinx it and then I won't have a good night's sleep and be miserable again. So yes. Okay, but yeah, um, if I do wake up early enough, I will do that taste test video of those Pop-Tarts, okay? I'll do one each, the chocolate chip and the frosted, um, what was it called? Frosted Sunday, hot fudge Sunday. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. <coughs> so... All right, um, see you around. Oh, my memory's slipping at this. There's somebody in the neighborhood. I am making you tea. But personally, I wouldn't touch the stuff. She despised Rhoda more than ever for trying to get back with her. I mean, Rhoda was the cunt in the story, obviously. Here we are.
been a wolf since my neighbor's cat likes to go wandering outside and usually kills a bunny or two and then leaves them in our front yard. It was pitch black and my porch light barely illuminated anything but our back porch. I brushed off the noise and went back to bed shortly after. The next morning, I headed over to my neighbor's house, who have hunted before, and occasionally would bow hunt too. I asked if they heard that noise last night, and they said yes. They thought it was a deer crying for help. They told me they were going to investigate the woods in a few hours to see what happened. I was reluctant to ask to go with, but I was determined to know what the noise had been. A few hours later, my neighbors and I were...